Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today I'm taking a look at this Cloner Alliance uh, capture card. So this is the Flint 4K P+. So it can do 4K pass through, but if you're gonna go like recording or streaming, it can do up to 1080p 60 frames a second. Uh, most likely that's the settings you're gonna want. And uh, looking at the price point that this capture card is pretty reasonable. Uh, there are some higher end ones, uh, which are way, way more expensive. But for what this can do, it's pretty good pricing. So pretty much to get things going, you don't need to install any drivers. I'm currently running Windows 10 and I have the OBS Studio installed. And there's some software that they offer, but I'm not really going to install that. So taking a close look here on the actual device itself here, we have the USB Type-C, which you're gonna need to plug in if you're gonna do any live streaming or recording on your PC. Uh, we have the line in, microphone and line out here. And on the back, we do have the in and out for HDMI. For example, if I wanna plug in my Switch HDMI, I would just put it on in and then just use my USB Type-C and I would be able to use the OBS to stream or record. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna put in the USB-C here and plug in the HDMI on in. Once you have OBS open, uh, just right click and we're gonna go ahead and add the video capture device. So you saw I didn't install any drivers or anything like that, so I would just go in here, click OK, and there we go. So I can see it, it's kept live streaming video device here. Uh, one thing I like to do here, um, under resolution FPS type, I would just click custom, just to make sure I would go uh, 1080p, so we're getting the 1080p for sure. And let's go ahead and turn the switch on. Uh, one thing I definitely want to test out is the latency. Uh, you're able to use the pass-through pretty much, but uh, at this moment, let's say I want to use OBS uh, just to do some gameplay, and if I'm live streaming, I can actually do that. I don't really need a pass-through. Uh, if you only have one monitor and you don't want to use the pass-through, you can definitely do that, which is good. So let's open uh, Mario Maker 2 here and see the latency. Perfect, so the game is open. Uh, one thing is, uh, if you let's say you want to use OBS and you want to do some streaming or you just want to do some gameplay straight from here without a pass through and you want to hear the audio, what you need to do is uh, right click down here, go advanced audio properties and under mic, you would just go under monitor where it's off, just put uh, monitor and output and we can definitely hear the audio now. So let's go ahead and play a level here. I just want to see the latency if I notice anything here. So, so far so good actually with the latency, uh, don't notice much latency here, so which is great. Especially if you're gonna do like live streaming and you only have one monitor, so this is uh, perfect. And for the price of this thing, very nice. Uh, one thing I noticed, it, it, it is uh, getting a little bit warm, uh, the actual de device itself, uh, but it's being in use, so I wonder after a little bit, uh, let's play a little bit more, I just wanna see if it gets even uh, hotter, but the main thing what I wanna see here, the latency, so let's pick a little harder level now. Uh, I kinda blame myself for that one, I didn't press it at the right time. So I don't really notice any latency, but if you're really concerned about latency, you can, even if you have just one monitor, you can go ahead and plug in the output to your monitor, the pass-through. So the box says 4K, just make a note, uh, the 4K is only for pass-through, it's not for if you're gonna stream or record. Uh, recording and streaming is gonna be at 1080p, 60 frames per second. So my overall thoughts on this uh, Flint 4K P+, uh, pretty much it does what it says on the box. And uh, it's pretty small 
for what it can do, uh, especially if you have a Nintendo Switch and if you want to do some live streaming or recording, this is perfect for that. I had no issues. It does tend to get a little warm um, after a few, if you're gonna play for, if you're gonna be streaming like for a few hours, definitely it's gonna get a little bit warm. But uh, it hasn't failed or anything like that. I've tested that out for a couple of hours. So it's been good so far. It does have the in and out. Uh, usually I just use the HDMI in and open OBS. I'm able to play from that way and I can definitely see like the chat and everything like that. If I want to do straight from the screen, if I'm doing any streaming. And it does have the USB Type-C, which I love seeing on every device, which is good. So if you guys have any questions about this uh, capture card, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. And if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn the notifications on. And if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down. And I'll see you guys on the next one.